Welcome back to this tutorial series, Laravel Blog Vu. In our last video, we were able to scaffold the Vu store and also add some packages that we'll use later on in this project. So let's get straight to what we have for today. For this video, what we're going to do is to add Laravel route, which will enable us to make our API calls and essentially get the data from our database. Once that is done, we'll make sure that our backend is working appropriately. And by that, I mean posts are showing, categories are also showing. You can add posts, you can edit, you can uh, do that to categories as well. So let's just get this straight away. So just a quick reminder, let me just run this project and we'll see where we left off. Okay, that is running. Uh, so right now, this is essentially what we have. If you remember, this is our template. These are the posts and these are the categories. And that's what we're working with right now. So we have our controllers already. We have the post controller that controls the back end. We also have the category controller that also controls the back end categories right now what we're going to do is get off with the various routes from each of these methods in this controller so we're going to have routes for the category controller and as well as the post controller so let's do that right now okay i've already prepared this so we don't waste so much time and if you look at what is here it's just very simple this is a post this is a get. These are all the routes for the category. And you can see category controller picking the add category method for add category routes. The category that slash category would return all categories. And this is found here. So you can see all these methods in this controller are referenced in the route update delete and so on and so forth and that's what we have here delete select a category update and all that the same thing for the post this will be controlled by the post controller and on the post controller you have all posts add post you have edit post update post uh delete post and exactly what we have here all post add post edit post update post delete post so each of them carries their route pattern and that's that now the next thing we want to do is ensure that these routes are working and that we are able to retrieve our posts on the back end and as well as our categories so let's look at what we have if you have if you remember we have a route called backend on the back end okay it says login so I'll just log in this is our table Laravel blog and uh, let me just find a user that I can log in with. Okay, this is a popular user. Okay, then the password is password. right we are right at our back end if you look at it now now we have posts because all our stops have been done all the calls have been made by axios http client we only needed to get the routes working and then all this would start working as well as you can see it's like magic we just came here now and everything is done let's check category what's going on there yeah and category is also good so let's try and edit this category I'll call this business okay and uh, yeah as you can see it's business now and on the post as well I can try to edit the post let's see what that gives us okay so on the post I just want to have uh, add something more to the title and say pinata or something yeah and uh, try to upload 
an image and see if that works so we'll do this upload and update okay so uh the title may not be greater than 50 characters all right let's adjust that from from the controller okay so the maximum is 50 let's extend that to 100 and i'll do that for the update as well because that's even what we were trying to do okay so if we try to do it now it still doesn't work all right so let's see what the problem is we may just have to fix this right here right now that's just to tell you that when we when we do tutorials like this there could also be life issues okay so what's the problem okay it says 500 can't write image data to path so path um upload image okay so what this is saying is that there is no upload image folder apparently in this project let's be sure of that yeah there is no upload so what i'll do is just create an upload image folder yeah and one more thing we have to do is to link our storage with this folder as well laravel has made this easy as you can see i have the laravel 5.8 docs open right here and the command line is just simply php artisan storage link so i'll run that here php artisan storage link okay and it has been linked as you can see it is here storage and it's linked now let's try to repeat that process and see if that would eventually go okay and it did so there you have it now we have a picture updated by one of our okay good so now the picture shows it means that the api that pulls all posts is working the api that does the editing of the post is also working okay let's try to add a new post and see if that also works so new post uh new posts and some stuff some stuff lorem if some if possible you can just dump some lorem if some okay and i'll select one category which is business i can select a picture okay so that's it it works perfectly that'll be all for this video